and welcome to Trucking Along with Kiersey. That's me, your positive voice in trucking, and this is Maureen, my positive TNT team trainee. <laughs> so, something that I've gotten questions about in the past was, what happens when you're sick out on the road, and how do you deal with that? And amazingly enough, I wound up getting strep throat and an ear infection out on the road, and Maureen was on the truck with me. And I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still alive. So, which, I'm alive while she's driving, which is woohoo! <laughs> she's safe. I love it. But, um, I thought it was a cool thing to talk about as far as how do you get handle things. Like, at Prime, we actually have a doctor on the terminal premises, which does take my insurance, so I had a $30 copay. We were in Massachusetts, I think, and I had told my fleet manager, yo, I need to get into the terminal, I need to get to the doctor. The truck actually needed to get into the shop too. Right. So, what I did, me being me, now some people would have put the truck in the shop, and then they would have gone to the doctor, and they would have taken extra time off. But what I did was, we put the truck in the shop, I went to the doctor, Doctor gave me a note till Monday, so this was Friday, we put the truck in the shop. Doctor gave me a note till Monday. It turned out that the truck wasn't even ready till Tuesday. Right, Tuesday. Yeah, so Prime paid for our hotel rooms for both of us to have rooms, and then also paid us breakdown pay. Um, so it didn't even look like I took sick leave or anything. And as far as my insurance, I wound up paying $30 in a copay and $3 for my antibiotics and steroids. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the total was like 75 bucks. And I was sitting there adding up that if I was a lease off, I'd have to pay for her room and my room. And we'd have the downtime of like $1,000 a day downtime that we're not getting the revenue. Plus you have to pay for the truck still. And you, you know, it's kind of funny because some people have told me that there's breakdown pay and other people have told me that it's only a $250 limit. So different people's contracts say different things, even at the same company. So depending on how your company handles things, that's how we could handle it at Prime. Um, something else that if you're not at Prime and don't have a doctor in the terminal, there's usually some kind of an urgent care that you can get to. Right. So park the truck at a truck stop, get to an urgent care, make sure that you're safe because you can't continue to be sick out here. And that was something that I was glad that she was here because if I did, yeah, if I wound up feeling dizzy or anything like mm -hmm. that, then I just wouldn't have been driving. Um, so having a teammate <laughs> does help yeah. Does help when you don't feel well, you know? And she was telling me, I'll drive, I'll drive. <laughs> I'm like, you don't even have your hours back. You only have, you've only been on break five hours. You need another five hours of downtime. And she's like, but you're sick. I'm like, hours of service doesn't care that I'm sick, you know? But. If I would have told my fleet manager there's no way that we're continuing with this load, I'm too sick, they would have taken the load from me. Mm -hmm. And at one point I said to her, if they don't get me back into the terminal, I'm going to park this sucker right in a truck stop or I'm going to go get us a hotel and that's going to be it and they're going to have to pick up their load and they would have, <laughs> it wouldn't have been a yeah. fight. But He routed us back to um, the terminal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the whole thing about this is if you're sick, you have to take care of yourself. I mean, whether you're at home, it doesn't matter what kind of job you have. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't drive where you're you're sick. And luckily, I like the fact that they have a clinic at the terminal. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, you know, that's a um, big um, time saving to me if you go into the terminal and you're, you make an appointment with um, the clinic on the, in the terminal. I think mm -hmm. that's a good... And I've had people tell me, oh, don't ever go to your company's doctor. Don't ever do that. But you know what? I have a friend, Rob, who's probably watching this video. Who, hey, Rob. Rob is a <laughs> lawyer who has come to Prime. He's been solo for two months now. And he was saying that when you go to a company uh, doctor, mm -hmm. they're going to err on the side of caution. They don't want you driving if you're sick at all because that costs lawsuits. You're going to wind up at a point where you're vomiting on the road or you have diarrhea that nobody wants to talk about, <laughs> but you know, that's just life and you're going to have an upset stomach or maybe you just 
don't feel well. Mm -hmm. But one of the realities out here is when you don't feel well, even if they take the load from you, you still have to meet up with somebody who's going to come take the load. You still have to get out there. It could be, you know, negative 40 with sleet and snow right. and ice, mm -hmm. and you have to do it. That's even true. if it's just to get rid of the load to get to the point where you can crawl back in bed. And, you know, we went into the terminal, and what did we do first? We went to Walmart, and I loaded up on chicken soup. Orange juice. Orange juice, honey, tea, mm -hmm. you know, and I just did nothing but take care of myself, and I felt bad because she was in the room next door, and I didn't even come <laughs> see her or talk to her or anything. But um, I know she was recovering. But, so. yeah, I slept she for, needed. like, yeah. 14 hours or something the one day. And I did plan to do videos at that time because we had the downtime, but honestly, I didn't feel well and um, you do you have to take care of yourself yes you do but it was nice downtime we got paid which is cool um, that's always cool yeah <laughs> but I haven't been home since August 18th yeah I haven't been home since I started um, orientation which was start our, our orientation August 17th okay yeah. really yeah okay. I haven't been home this so, is my first home time coming up but that's actually been by choice. Right. Don't think that I was some mean ogre that didn't let her go home. <laughs> no, that's right. It's not, it, no. Okay. Yes. But, but we agreed because one of the things was since I drove us solo for a couple weeks mm -hmm. and then we got into the team flow, I was afraid that it would slow us down and like interrupt that flow. Right. Just the same way I was saying if you take some time off, then you're interrupted. So, um, I think we've had good momentum. I think so too, yeah. Yep, and guess what guys? I did more miles with her than I've done with any student. Woohoo! Like in one week, so. <laughs> Woohoo is right. So, I'm making more mo good money. I'm happy. My miles are adding up. They're adding I'm up. I'm happy. Yeah, and uh, we are gonna go home next week, but we are on our va way to Vegas. That's right, we're going to Vegas. See, and if this whole thing didn't have Vegas shut down, because I don't know if they're back open again, all of a sudden, the truck would have gotten sick. <laughs> okay? <laughs> the truck would have been sick, and we would have been watching some magic shows and listening to some concerts or something. <laughs> we're dropping this load in Vegas, yes. But it still oh. might happen, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Every day brings something different. Who knows? That air leak keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> and it does. <laughs> but no, I mean, like, I would never, ever put the truck in the shop for some phantom thing. That's that's the truth. But truth of the matter is, even with a brand new truck, things are going to go wrong, and you pretty much can find something wrong with the truck no matter what. That's why I tell people, when you go in for, for DOT inspections, mm -hmm. be nice. Don't argue. Right. Be polite. They're just doing their job anyway, but if you come off nasty to them and they want to be a jerk, they will they find can. something yeah. wrong with your truck. You know, um, and I'm just trying to be sweet and pleasant and bribe them with cookies. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> bribe the yard dogs. <laughs> we were in this really tough spot yesterday and she was like, if I was by myself, I would have had 50 bucks and said to the guy, hey, put this in the door. She says, he might have turned down 10 or 20, but he wouldn't have turned down 50. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I was not by myself. It was a tough. It was a tough one, though. Yeah. The one we were at yesterday morning. Yeah, but again, it's the attitude. Like yeah. that's the place I just blew my horn back at uh -huh. them and yelled. You know, you just do it. Yeah. But um, she'll get to that point where she's yelling. She already <laughs> yelled at the I guy. Yelled. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, do you need any help backing? Now. <laughs> He's never going to ask another female if they need help. No. <laughs> so, I want to thank you. I hope you guys stay healthy and safe. And let us know down below what happens when you get sick out on the road. Because, of course, if you're really that bad, call 911. Call your company. Make sure that you're safe and you're healthy. Secure that load. Because, you know, some companies, and I'm not going to say prime because I've never seen it happen here. But I've heard horror stories about other companies that would fire somebody for a band. 
abandonment of a load even when they went to the hospital. Mm. Now, could they fight that? Absolutely. But who wants to go through that headache, right? So always keep dispatch apprised of what you're doing. If you really need to go to a, an urgent care or something that's that bad, get off the load first. That's right, take care of your load first. You know, and then go take care of yourself and, and nurse up for a few days. Of course, un unless it's something really serious where you really need you to, to get 911, right. you know. Um, but one of the biggest things out here when people get, it's not so much getting sick, but it's getting injured, they will fall out of the truck. Mm -hmm. There are so many drivers I know that slip when they get out of the truck when they're they're getting out and they you have the three points of contact, points of contact and you can yeah. still slip on that bottom step you can still slip on the curb down below so be really careful at that point so i thank you for commenting like comment subscribe ring the little notification bell and we hope to see you out here truck truck trucking along bye, bye. <laughs>